Welcome back, sweet friends. For those of you that are interested in our vendor's booth, this video is for you. Now, most of you know we have sold two hutches already, and this is the third one going in our booth. Now, we came down and straightened up some things when we seen that we sold it, but it don't look so good. I'm not happy with the way it looks, so we're going to put this hutch in here and do a little bit of a reset, and then next week we're planning on coming down and doing a little bit more of a markdown for things that I've had in the booth. I don't want people to come to my booth and say, I've already seen this. I see the same thing sitting in it every time I visit. So if, if they're a customer that likes to come by once a month, you know, they sort of want to see some different things. And sometimes just moving the items around is very helpful. Uh, usually every time we do a reset, uh, we start selling some items again. Now, our booth has not been in the minus since we have had it. And we started it back in J July of 2023. And we have been enjoying it. It's a hobby booth and we do it for fun. Here is the new hutch and some new items that I have brought down to put on it. Here is the second reset. I go down, I set my camera and I got nine seconds and that camera cut off. So these are the after photos after we actually did the reset, but I thought my video was running, my camera was running, just to find out I only got nine seconds of it. I moved all of the anchor and boating decor right over here all together, the little boat anchor picture and fishing net. I wanted to keep that together maybe if somebody was interested. As you guys can see here in our booth, it is really starting to get a little overcrowded. And what we're feeling is that people are probably stepping in our booth, getting overwhelmed with so much stuff. So we have decided to pick up another booth in a location here in Vendor Village, and it's gonna be over at I'll Be Booth 59. So we're going to carry this for the rest of the month, and then we're just going to start marking things down. But we want to keep the other booth in a vintage farmhouse feel, not necessarily antiques, but uh, to a few vintage items along with some modern farmhouse items. So we're going to start marking this down each week until the last week of May, and we're letting this booth go, and we're still only gonna run one booth.
We didn't have a whole lot of sales, but we did make our booth rental and just a little more and only highlighted our above $25 items here for the month. But I had a new idea for the new booth. This was a picture from Pinterest. I know it's all blurry, but it gave me an idea with some of the tin roof that had blown off of the old barn and on to our property, and this is what Mr. Fixit had made. Now, there's a video of him making this, and I'll put that in the description box below if you want to see how he made that. So let's go ahead and get started on setting up the new booth area. Okay, everyone, this is my first set of the new booth at Vendors Village in Danville, Kentucky. I'll be booth 59. I did get a new rug, indoor-outdoor, and I really like that brown. It doesn't show a lot of dirt. However, we will um, take it out and clean it as needed. Here I'm showing the tin that came off of the old barn in the neighborhood, and if you want to see how... Mr. Fixit put that together. There is a video linked in the description box. We also picked up this old Hoosier cabinet, and we're going to do a remake on that, and it's going to go over here on this wall. For now, we have found an old 90-year-old table, and we found that at a yard sale, and we're going to put that in there until we get the Hoosier cabinet done so that it can go on that wall. I don't know, it may not even go down there. It may remain in my house. We'll see. You know, things around here change pretty fast. This is the uh, other booth that we're holding for the month. It's just so overcrowded, and we marked everything down to a dollar to two dollars to move it. And here I'm setting up a little stand back there in the corner for some of my costume jewelry that I've had for years. And it's selling pretty good out of the booth, so I'm glad somebody can find some use out of it. I haven't touched it in years. And I'll uh, eventually take that back down and as the jewelry sells out. So continuing with the farmhouse style here in this booth, I hope that we're achieving that.
This is the old farmhouse table that I found at a yard sale for $15. Uh, the family that owned it said that his mom had had it down in a basement that had flooded and the legs were a little rotted off. Mr. Fixit's going to fix those for me eventually, but for now, I just love how it looks. I'm going to take it in my booth and I'm going to set it up and I'll show you how to style it. Also found these old uh, military antique sh chairs. This is the last reset in this booth, and these uh, two pieces of maple wood furniture are sold this month, and then the microwave or kitchen cart that we had found at a garage sale also sold out of this booth, and we continue to mark things down as the month goes by and get rid of it. We're bound and determined not to take it to Goodwill. We had a really great month in booth sales for the month of May. I highlighted only the items over $25 for the May sales. Look for my next booth update for the month of June in the first week of July. Have a great day. I'll see you then. Bye.